How's it going, guys? I bought a whole bunch of batteries. <laughs> like, I don't know if you can see very well, but there is four rows deep. These are double A's. I don't even know how many. Here's my D batteries, four rows deep. Two rows deep, some C batteries, and then got some 9 volts and kind of some miscellaneous quantum batteries and all that. There's all the packaging. So I only paid 50 bucks for all of this. It's pretty good. But the main reason I got on here, I'm gonna load up my backpack and ride the 100 Grom over to Adams, and we're gonna see if we can get his solar panels on his shed roof. All right, I made it to Adam's house. <laughs> his door's closed again. Here's his solar panels. Same ones that I have. He's the one that gave me one of them. See, so he has three. I think they're 185 watts each. So he's gonna put them on this side of the shed. But yeah. I think he has these little brackets that he bought that are four solar panels. There's like a little 90 degree bracket thing with a little lip on them. So you mount these two holes to the roof and then pretty much just slides on like that. And you run we're gonna run a self-tapping screw from the back into the frame. It's just like an aluminum frame. Should work pretty well. decided to be like Incredible Hulk here and completely snap off the bolt as he was tightening it with the ratchet. So we're gonna do that again. So now we get to drill another hole over here. Um, where did the bag of screws go? There it is. I already have one in here. Oh, sweet. All right. Well, uh, we'll just go up a little bit. <laughs> Don't worry, now the drill's dead. 
Hey, full bar! <laughs> Game battery! Which I think seriously does, it recharges itself. It's got solar power. It doesn't have to be in the sun. It just has touch of solar panel. <laughs> Get this one all the way with the drill. Oh, yep. Put on the freaking backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were joking for a second. I'm moving again because the hole's too far that way, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh ah, that hope still works. <laughs> I knew we were going to do that one time, and <laughs> it was the last one that we had to redo. Here, do you want to go straight in the middle with this one? Uh, we can just set this one up here. Right now. On the middle. Um, you can come down this way a little bit if you want. Which way? I'm um, probably right there. It's probably pretty good. <laughs> I've never drilled into shingles. <laughs> and why is there water coming out? <laughs> Alright guys, so I didn't want to bore you with this whole entire process. So we did the same thing, you know, we drilled each hole and stuck a bolt through. And Adam on the inside of the shed stuck a nut and lock washer and everything on the bolt on the inside. And that's pretty much all we did here at this process. And we repeated that six times across the top just for, you know, temporary purposes. So that's what we were doing. Yeah, this one works. Okay. This is Zeus, the crazy cat that's bigger than a normal sized cat. Oh, <laughs> Zeus! I call him Zeus the Goose. Zeus the Goose. <laughs> oh, swinging at me. Zeus, hey, easy. Screw the camera. <laughs> go, Zeus, go! All right, so we hooked up the wires to this. How we did it is we ran the ground from the panels and the ground from the charge controller into the opposite side of the handle as the inverter and crimped it down. And then same thing for the positive side, but it's from the charge controller into here. And the charge controller turned on. So now we just have to hook up the panel. So now all we have to do is Pick the panel of the charge controller and we get to go. If you want to do it, I can record you doing it. Okay. There's that. Um, the one, that one's the ground if you want to do that one first. Or the negative, I should say. It should already be unscrewed. All you got to do, you have to push them up there quite a ways too. It's kind of a pain. Positive, which isn't hooked up to the panels yet, but plug it in once you get it. Alright, so in theory, 
I plug this in, and we are officially generating solar power. Or Which right explodes. here, this little smiley face side, just like how mine is, should All right. start going. We're plugged in. And now I got power coming in. At 13.1 volts. Sweet. Can you read some CS? 2.6 amps. 2.6 amps coming in right now because it's cloudy as of right this minute. Yeah, as of right we'll now. We'll see once the sun comes out. And the battery's fairly charged, but. And my panels are extremely dirty. Actually, it just shows your battery's full now. Yeah, yeah. So it's not even going to pull a whole lot more than that. So we can test my inverter here real quick by plugging in. Little camera. Little camera here. Yep. We got power. There you go. Well, we had some horrible failure. All right, guys. I got a new charge controller, so I figured I'd update you guys. Even though Philip isn't, Philip isn't here, it's uh, you know, middle winter, so there's snow outside. Um, but I got the Renogy charge controller to replace the crappy PWM one. This one's an MPPT. Um, so I'm going to try to get that switched out here. See this new charge controller. I think it's about the size I thought it was going to be. It's a little girthier than I thought, though. It's pretty heavy. I was surprised. Which I mean, it has a metal back plate for. Yeah, those are white. Heat they look completely blue on video. Yeah. Um, Do you want to tell them what made that one blow up? That inverter. Oh yeah. So um, the inverter that we had. I don't know how much you already had on video, but... Pretty much just um, it's smoking, but yeah. I had it working. So we week. had this charge controller hooked up to this battery, um, and these leads were on the inverter, and we had the lines coming from the old charge controller to these alligator clumps as well, since we didn't have any large enough lugs to put around those bolts. Um, and for whatever reason, I'm not 100% sure why these charge controllers turn off randomly and the battery was overcharged whenever we came out here it was at about 17 volts um so and it was boiling so phil's first reaction which i mean is an okay one is was to disconnect the battery which i didn't think neither of us thought about the fact that then the charge controllers just hooked up straight to the inverter since they were both on those alligator clamps and uh, that it, I think it went into a higher voltage mode and started outputting all the voltage from the panels or, I mean, even just 24 volts and the charge controller, I mean, the uh, inverter's capacitors just blew up. Which is just, just their small ones, though. Just the small ones. There are bigger ones in there than the small ones. But there's still a pretty decent pop. Like, we were both like, uh... There was, there so was we, two pops. Disconnected the panels um, just to remove that from for being hooked up but and it was uh, definitely the the popping and everything and we just sat there and stared at it like yeah. uh <laughs> yeah that was like it, it popped we both kind of like flinch a little bit and then it popped again we both flinch it's like well that happened and we're like what's next the whole thing just catches on fire <laughs> yeah that was my next thought was something's gonna burst into flames that's why i just grabbed the cables and yanked them off the battery because yeah. i was thinking the battery was going to start boiling over yeah because that's kind of that smell I could smell when I first walked in. But yeah. I'm like, I don't know what that smell is. Yeah. So that was boiling uh, battery. Yeah. So you're probably about, about four hundred dollars. So about four hundred dollars in. With all the panels, and everything, the battery is just yeah. an extra one I had. Yeah. For five, roughly, probably about five hundred watts of power. Um, I don't know exactly how much these panels are putting out because they are a little bit older. They're used panels. So they're probably not obviously generating the full 555, um, but I think it's pretty safe to assume they're 
at least putting out 500 watts on a sunny day. We'll know once once uh, we have a nice sunny day, especially over the summer, whenever we're hitting like peak power.